since TypeScript cannot be executed directly by Node.js, we need to compile it to JavaScript, which Node.js can then execute. Let's take a moment to understand what happens when we run the serve command. First, let's open our project in VS Code. And let's run the serve command again. This will create a build directory and copy some meta files which are defined inside the .adonis rc file. It will copy them over into the build directory, then compile the TypeScript files into the build directory, then copy the .adonis rc file itself into the build directory, then it will create an is-manifest.json file inside the build directory, and finally, it will start the HTTP server. This means our application is executed from the build directory. So we need to always compile our code so that the build directory is in sync with our code. We can do that by running the self command in watch mode. I'm going to stop this and run the command with the dash dash watch flag. Now, whenever our application files changes, it will automatically recompile the TypeScript code and restart the server.